What's up, everybody? That's nah, not a truck rant. Not gonna fly off the handlebars and say a bunch of fucked up shit. Even though I might say some fucked up shit, I'm not gonna fly off the handlebars and be, you know, I'm not gonna be inappropriate and say cock shit, damn piss, cocksucker motherfucker. <laughs> I love it. Uh, <clears throat> no, I want to do a quick recap uh, about the month of mayhem and how there's the good, then there's the bad, then there's the ugly. And I think that, you know, you can find good in just about anything, you can find bad in just about anything, and you can find some ugly shit in just about anything. Um, and there's a lot that I learned over this past month um, that I knew about myself, but it became much more apparent. Uh, this month has been much more chaotic and has m way more mayhem than I've even... Uh, disclosed to all of you, and that's really what this video is about. Uh, so the month, this whole entire month, has been much more chaotic, chaotic than um, than just a YouTube video every single day um, and a hero workout every single day. Back in December, uh, Bob and I uh, removed another business partner from the companies. There was four partners. Now it is just Bob and I. Um, it has been some heavy shit. However, that's just kind of how life goes in these, in this world. It is intense. It is, it's fucking intense. Um, and there's been a lot of things that Bob and I have had to, uh, fix and make right and do a better job of. So not only have, has it been mayhem with the YouTube video and doing a hero workout, also, uh, restructuring the company uh, internally and making sure that we absolutely slaughter everything. And like you guys have been seeing, we have a ton of new products coming out, new pre-workouts, new flavors of Farm Fed coming very soon, like maybe this week. Stay on, stay on the lookout. Uh, but it has been crazy. And I can't thank everyone enough for all the overwhelming support with uh, all the stuff on IG. I get, I people are doing all of these hero workouts. It's awesome to see. Um, and just even people doing them once a, once a week, it's cool. But yeah, it has been chaos. The good of everything is the fact that uh, everything is great. I got a fucking wonderful life and I'm very fortunate and blessed for it. And um, I learned that I mean, I know I could do these hero workouts. I just want to challenge myself. Um, and I'll be able to look back on this and never fucking forget this month. I will never forget doing these hero workouts because my knees are obliterated. I need a few days off of just like rest. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, YouTube videos. So I know I'm not the greatest at uploading YouTube videos. I get really busy with everything, but one of the reasons that I wanted to make myself film a YouTube video every day, even though they don't all grab traction the same way. Some people are like, I can't stand listening to fucking Seth talk anymore. You just shut the fuck up. Maybe it's just me sometimes. I learned that I am capable of doing pretty much anything I set my mind to. And I need to make sure that I set my mind on putting out content of value. I need to put out content that I have such a great passion for, such as lifting weights, uh, and entertaining the masses with my ability just to fucking beat the hell out of myself with a bodybuilder workout. I miss training arms so much. Um, and I'm always up for anything. Like, uh, and I'm always going to give my honest opinion about things. I'm not going to like, I'm not going to run from anything. I'm just going to be like, yeah, this is how it was. This is what it was like. I liked it. I fucking hated it. Um, and then just my knowledge about bodybuilding and training, nutrition. And I'm not a scientist, you know, and nor do I believe that you have to be a scientist to be good at lifting weights or eating food or figuring out what works for you. You just have to be able to be honest with yourself and commit to something 100%. And then you'll be able to run your own science experiment and find that out. Um, you know, talking like this, I knew that that's what, that's what's good, but, um, doing this month of mayhem reminded me that and solidified that I can do content even though things are crazy and I need to do things that are going to benefit others uh, greatly valuable content 
and things that I have a passion for. Like, I love lifting weights. I just fucking love it. I love it. It does something to me. And also, on Fuad's podcast the other night, uh, Bro Chat, I had a lot of fun with him, but we have young Ty, who's a meathead, and he works in our customer service department. He's getting ready for the Pittsburgh. He's, he's got a lot of potential. He's a really, really good kid. And uh, we were talking about his posing and some of the things and helping him grasp some concept about going through posing. And uh, Fuad's like, well, then, I guess, posing coach, why aren't, why aren't you just helping him? Why aren't you, like, there? I'm like, well, I am, but I'm, you know, a lot, really busy and, like, I don't always have the time for him. But then I thought to myself, if this young man's working in our company, he's working hard, he has, he's, he's a version of me. He's a young kid that's 23 years, just turned 23 years old, like, trying to make it in bodybuilding, spending everything on bodybuilding. And I'm like, yep in it. I need to get in it. I need to, I need, a couple days a week, I need to make sure I carve out time to, to do that for him. And, and, and show you guys, because there's a lot of stuff to learn from there. So we were talking about new content we're going to do with us and the meatheads. Things of value that like, because whenever I get on talking about bodybuilding or old school training or this or that, like I just, just get into it. I'm, even though I am your favorite IFBB pro bodybuilder, Seth Ferrosi, I am a massive fan of such. And this month of mayhem has really let me know how much, uh, and doing the podcast with the Fuad and the guys, how much I fucking just absolutely love it. I love it. Love it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I mean, I guess, it, again, it's, it's all good. You can find the good in anything. The bad is just... Uh, the bad, um, I'm sore. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, I don't really see too much bad in it other than the fact that, uh, no, I don't. I don't right now. Like there is, you know, rough times with work and, you know, the, the, the restructuring of things, but I mean, that's just, that's just everyday work. Hey, just shut the fuck up, dude. Do the work. Embrace it. Embrace the chaos. Embrace it and, and lead. You know, have integrity. Integrity is such a... That's so important. So important. And the ugly. What is the ugly from the month of mayhem? I don't know. I don't know. The ugly is the fact that you know, I will say that I've always said that money and power do crazy things to people. And I'll add a third one, stress. Money, power, and stress do crazy things to people. And you got to be, you got to be willing to, to, you have to find out what keeps you, what keeps you on par for life. What keeps you there. For me, dude, it's, it's cardio lifting weights I love my family I do all my heart you guys know that however if I am not doing those things for myself if I'm not doing my AM cardio if I'm not doing some type of weight training to 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 be to be physically intense I will begin to mentally lose it and then from there uh, I'll, I'll I won't have the same stable emotional state <clears throat> and then I begin to find trouble. If I'm not doing my cardio, if I'm not being physically intense, I will begin to break mentally and emotionally, and I will find trouble. I know because that's how I am. And whenever stress comes into some people's lives, you know, whenever stress comes into everyone's life, it makes people do crazy things. And I'm guilty of it just as much as anybody. I am one wild motherfucker. Um, and... Those are the things that we realize in life uh, as we live it. So it's the money, power, and stress. And over this past month with the month of mayhem for me, not doing my morning cardio like I've been, but been redlining myself with these hero workouts and just pummeling myself. Um, it's been good because, I mean, I, I found a new level of like, Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, this dude said he could do it in 14 minutes. I'm just going to go. I'm going to redline myself 
just to the point where my heart rate is literally probably over 200 beats per minute and just see what the fuck I'm made of. Like, that's fun. So that's what, um, that's what I've been doing. So I've been finding that. However, I love my routine of morning cardio. I love it. I love it. It is my anchor for the day. I just like it. I just like it. And uh, through the hero workouts, um, I miss arms. <laughs> like I could do fucking tons of pull-ups. Like pull-ups, yeah. Squats, yeah. Deadlifts, yeah. Power cleans, overhead squats, fucking yeah. Handstand push-ups, yeah. But uh, I miss curling. Dude, tricep press times. JM presses on the triceps. Jacked, taking hydraulic and just getting a stupid pump. Yeah. And there's a way to have a mix of all of those things. There's a way. And, uh, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. I personally think that you can find good in just about any scenario. You just got to look for it and understand that it's all part of life. Something bad happens. It's okay, dude. You just got to keep moving forward. Like... I've done, I'm notorious for young Seth doing some bad things. And it's funny how, you know, we were joking on Fuad's podcast about how the one time I took three Anadrols a day. I did that for, for a short stint when I was younger. And I'll never forget training legs on three Anadrols that day. Did one in the morning and then two before I trained. And let me say that that was a very, very, very scary training session. That's fun. Do I recommend it? No. They all looked at me like they were like, you fucking idiot. You're going to kill yourself. And because of that, uh, the good that came out of that, tell people not to do that. The bad that came out of that, some of these health problems I have today probably directly correlate to those times in my life when I was doing those things. <clears throat> and the ugly, well, if I go early, that's the ugly which probably happened, but that's okay. Life is very intense, and this month of mayhem has been just that. I've enjoyed it. I found a, a new appreciation for a lot of the men and women that have served uh, in the armed forces as well as first responders uh, and have died. They died. They had families. They had kids. They had people that loved them just as people love you in your life. And sometimes, you know, whenever people die, and I even think about it for myself, whenever I die, like, I'll get the fucking posts online, and everybody will be like, I can't believe Seth died, loved him so much, he did these great things, all this, all that, and you'll have your fucking, the week of posts, but my family, they'll be the ones that feel it the most, you know, they, it won't be just a week, it'll be a long time, it'll be a long time, and, and doing these hero workouts, you know, these people, they lived their life on the edge. They served in the armed forces. They went to war. These people ran into burning buildings. Uh, they were working to keep our community safer as police officers. Um, there's so many New York City firemen that, that passed. It's, it's, it's insane. And, uh, and whenever I do my workouts, I think about those individuals. So, you know, whenever, whenever I think the, the workout's kind of hard, which it is, but also, like, I get to breathe, dude. All I got to do is keep breathing, keep moving, motherfucker. Stop being a pussy. You got it pretty good. Oh, you got problems in your life? Shut the fuck up and do the workout. You'll feel better when it's over. That's real. At least in my life, like, that's real. How do I know this? Because, motherfuckers, I did just about everything under the sun. I've done drugs. I've drank. I've done a bunch of steroids. I've done all these crazy things. And I know this, that if I'm having a bad day or a bad week or anything, Working out helps me do a better job of keeping my shit together personally. And if I my shit is better personally, it's better for my family. I need to be on point for my family. So if I'm not doing my morning cardio, I'm not going to be the best guy I could be. So wake up a little earlier. If I'm not training going to be the best guy I could be. 
and you also have to make sure you chose the right life partner and all that happy stuff. But everyone, February, we're gonna do some meathead shit. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help Young Ty. I'm gonna get with the guys. We're gonna do a bunch of meathead stuff. I love it. They need it. I need it. We're we're. I may be, you know, the owner of the company. Not, I am the owner of the company. I am their boss. But at the same time, also, when we train, it's fun because we're just a bunch of fucking bros lifting weights, trying to get bigger, trying to feel better, trying to make progress in our own personal lives to give us more confidence for everything we want in life. And and I absolutely, like, that's, that's my shit. I miss it so much in life. I miss being a, a young bro, having crazy aspirations for a physique because I know my days are behind me, but I'm going to make sure that, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make sure that, that I take the time to do so because that's what I was been able to prove to myself over the past month. So everyone, thank you. Thank you for being a part of this. We got two more days after this of the month of mayhem you're going to see another hero workout then we're going to close it off with a banger so everyone thank you very much keep being good motherfuckers